Hey guys, tonight we are testing head-up display, that's why we are doing it by night. And I have it installed in car over here, so I'm not going to show the boring installation. The, it's pre pretty basic, you need to place it in front of you and guide the uh, powering cable to your OBD2 port somewhere on your dashboard. And once it's connected and you turn on your car, it's pretty much it. You can then just make some adjustments, uh, select your favorite settings, but that's all. The basic thing that we are going to test tonight is how this uh, looks, how this feels. So let me just grab the camera. So this is the view from the driver's seat. We can see current speed. It's zero because we are stationary, but we will take the car for a quick spin in a minute. And I just want to say that this is one of the basic ones. There's a lot of HUDs to select from, and I pick the simple one, the white one, to be uh, honest, because, uh, because it fits the illumination the best. There's a lot of um, feature-packed devices, but uh, there's a lot of colors over there, and I believe it's distracting. And the whole idea uh, with the head-up display is to keep your attention on the road. If you want to check the speed, you can just look slightly down to see it, not all the way down over here. So this is, uh, as I said, pretty basic device, but in my case, it's a good thing. Okay, so let's take the car for a quick spin. It's uh, completely dark right now, but I can assure you that this also looks great during uh, the day in full sun. It's readable. I would say that it's uh, better. It's visible better than uh, factory installation, let's say in Audi A6 that I've tested um, some time ago. Um, the one concern that I have that the device is pretty small and there's a small uh, screen over here, glass screen. And since it's small, you cannot make the projection to be higher than the screen is. So if we are sitting right here, this is basically where basically where I'm looking and this is as high as the uh, as the HUD goes. But it's still still very comfortable compared to looking at the instrument cluster which is all the way down here. Okay, so enough of the boring stuff. Let's go and take the car on the road. So you have to believe me when I say that driving with it is uh, very cool. I can also show you that there's an auto brightness feature. So when I place light over here, you will see that the display gets really bright. And when I remove it, you will see that, uh, that after a few seconds it will dim down to the night mode, let's call it. You can also set the brightness manually, but the auto brightness feature is really cool. So I. Uh, I think that you should use it. Um, there's also mode that will show you coolant temperature. We have 89 degrees right now and your current battery voltage. And you can press and hold on one of the buttons to clear your um, check engine, check engine uh, indicator if you have one, uh, if uh, there's one uh, flashing on your instrument cluster. You can set number of reminders over here. So, for example, when reaching certain speed or if your coolant temperature is too high or battery voltage too low or your RPMs are too high, you will hear a reminder or warning sound with it uh, from it. And so that will also um, also uh, keep uh, keep safe you and your car. There's also a fatigue counter. So the device. Uh, uh, checks uh, how long are you using the car, how long the engine is on, and for example, if you reach four hours without turning off 
your ignition, it will remind you to take a break. So that's another cool safety feature. Okay, so in my opinion, it's a really great thing to have in your car. Higher safety, higher comfort. If you want to buy a device like this, go to TomTop website. There's a link in the description below this video. It costs about 22 bucks, including shipping at the moment. But check the, uh, check the deal right now. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about how this device uh, works, uh, leave it in the comments below this video. Also, there's a short technical specification in the description. So that's pretty much it. If you liked this simple test, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for future ones. See you soon.